Masters. Chill Masters, bro! What's, what's his last name? Phil Morrison? <laughs> Phil Morrison. Awesome, he drank like 33 beers in Tokyo. I watched Outsiders Japan. Is that true? I've seen it. 33 beers? Yeah, something like that. You can only do that if you're from the UK. That's like... I think we'll go the suspension route. Pat! What kind of suspension do you have in your S14? Fortune Auto. <laughs> and how is it set up? As soft as it goes. <laughs> uh, 96 S14, all stock, exterior. Fortune Auto coilovers, all the rear arms were done, they're all ISR. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How did you rear wheel drive convert your Maxima? It was really hard. <laughs> did it on the dyno. <laughs> he gets that question all the time, like it genuine. Was rear wheel drive until he really hit the gas and that front wheel drive just pushed all the way to the back. That's in terms of like, I don't know what I'm gonna put into it. I don't know how pricey it's gonna be. And like, you know, like, cause there's a difference between putting in I don't know, we'll say feel coilovers, then like whatever. eBay, what's the eBay brand? Emusa or whatever? Yeah, em EMUSA or Emusa oh, or oh, yeah, that's Raceland. Good. Yeah, put some Raceland. Godspeed. I would like to run feel coilovers because I have traditionally run them. You know, I have them in like the 350Z and they work pretty damn good to be honest. Hate money like it gunned down your parents outside an opera house. It did, we were watching Zora. Basically the Batman of wasting money. <laughs> uh, like I'd like to run those, but I also want to try stuff too. Like I'm always interested on like, like how do the ISR coilovers work? Are they okay? I, like, I, you know what I mean? Why, why'd you want Apex N1 so bad? Uh, they, the listing ended up being cheaper at the time. And then they called us just like, yeah. <laughs> so we lied. Yeah. But it happens. So far. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, BCs are good. A lot of people knock BCs. I think it's fine. Well, uh, yeah, you would run BCs, right? Well, same to you. I mean, I would run, like, any regular <laughs> company that I've heard of before, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's why I, like, kind of am, like, interested about stuff like that. Like, because he drives his car super hard, right? And he's, like, been running God speeds for a few years. Like, why, why can't I run those? <laughs> you know... On not just the coilovers, but suspension arms in general. Like, Pat runs ISRs, they're fine. Caitlin runs Phase 2s, they're fine. I run Godspeed and it like works fine. Godspeed, it's fine. Everybody hates Godspeed, including Galen. There's, a, there's an episode on that. <laughs> Voodoo 13! The That's only reason you run them is because you're like, sponsored. I will fully acknowledge like that something like an SPL arm is like very good. The build quality is very good. I don't argue that stuff at all, but like, do I need it? You know? The YouTube thing, like on a dude that tested a bunch of arms and like part of his reasoning behind it was like, so like uh, the powered by max arm versus like the ISR arm. His whole thing was like, which I guess it makes sense. The powered by max one's like extremely overbuilt. And so it'll it, break your subframe or something, right? Exactly. He was like, literally, I think if you hit something with this, that you would damage way more before it gave. Then this ISR arm will fold, but you'd save the subframe. You might save like the knuckle and all that other suspension stuff. Well, that scaling uh, philosophy too. He's, he always says he'd rather break an arm than break a car. You know? Yeah. This was the side that I didn't crash. You can see it's like more or less in the same shape, and this one is kind of like bowed out funny. Maybe if I hold it like this, you see how it's like crushed in? Yeah. I bent this. I didn't even break the rod end. I didn't break the knuckle. All This steel structure ate most of the impact. And then I think, I what did I break on the other one? I, I just bent everything. It saved the rest of the car. Like I had some. Oh, Twisted Motion also said that the turbo would be set to the lowest setting, just waste gain when I got it. And it was over 20 PSI. <laughs> because the first ride that I went for in it, it literally hit like 3,500 RPMs and then just fell on its face. Was it a boost cut? Yeah, it was fuel cut. It literally couldn't fuel it. That's bad. And uh, I didn't have a fucking uh, boost gauge at the time, so. That's how that goes. What the wrong with this thing? Blah, blah. <laughs> then, I got a boost gauge, hook it up. I have the thing in my hand because it's not mounted to anything. I go for a ride and just watch it bury it. It was a 20 PSI gauge. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to S14 suspension. 
Pat says fortune coilovers and ISR arms. Blitz. Galen. Galen, Galen is mad JDM. Blitz. So he wants Blitz. He wants Blitz and... Blitz, get what, Blitz. What is that? Is it a... Uh, Ikea formula arms, right? That's the most JDM <laughs> right. you can do? What? What? Ikea formula is, I think, the most Swedish that you can do. Ah, uh, uh, It's Ikea. Uh, <laughs> Ikea. SPL, diff, and subframe, solid aluminum bushings. I'm considering um, doing like solid bushings, but I kind of don't want to. Keep it street, bro. Well, that's the thing. It's going to be like a street car, so I don't know if I want to do solid bushings in the back, because that really brings some rattle into the game. It sucks. Um, I am a big fan of solid diff bushings. But then poly subframe. Maybe I'll do that. Cause That's a literary reference that Pat does not get. Pat does read books. Doesn't do books. Uh, pictures. pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the picture books? My favorite time. It's like directions. Just look at the pictures. What's the deal with those uh, shims that guys just stick above the subframe? The, collars? the, the subframe collars? Yeah. Horrible band-aid, but it does. It's a thing that people. Yeah, no, I mean, I've seen I'm like I'm like thinking about doing it because like my car is about balling on a budget and they are thirty dollars. <laughs> I'm like into that. Thing? You gotta make sure you get the right subframe collars because there are some that they cut them like way too thick for the top. Yeah, it ends up shimming your subframe down even further. That's what, yeah. So your geometry on a car that's relatively low like yours is gonna be worse. Our cars are like monster trucks. Monster trucks. Monster trucking is the way to go. It's the two. It's the two finger rule. Yo, we we uh, this right we here. all ascribe. Damn, you see that? Fairmont too low. Okay. <laughs> yeah. like we we like crap. no, like we literally like all ascribe by the two finger rule. It's like if you're gonna put coilovers in your car, you just lower the collars, two fingers, you're done. Perfect ride height every time. Yes. Doors open. Like the option of one Jay Z, but. I like two Jay Z's because I like Jay Z. He's like a good rapist. Put <laughs> one of those welding carts together. I bought one for part free. I looked at the pictures and like I flipped something and it was fucked up. And I was like, this has got to be like a fucking sick joke. Like this is six pieces. I flipped these inside out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's hard when you're functionally illiterate. <laughs> Say it in the picture book. <laughs> <laughs>